Hello, everybody. I hope you can hear me. Thank you for joining me today in our webinar on the Spanish Golden Visa, where I will be answering a lot of questions I think a lot of people want to know in terms of what is actually happening, where are, are we at the moment. Um, so I'm going to go through all of that and go through exactly how much time we have, and whether we can still help you with this. So just bear with me. I've got a few other people entering the webinar. Some of you might be watching this maybe later on on YouTube, some obviously through the webinar itself. Um, but I'll give a few moments for other people to join and then I will just share my presentation screen. So bear with me. Right. OK, so I should now be sharing a screen with you, which is my um, presentation I'm going to go through today, which hopefully will answer all your questions on what is happening with the Spanish Golden Visa. So I just do a bit of housekeeping to start with to just introduce myself. My name is Sam Danes. Uh, I'm one of the senior managers at Holborn Assets, where we specialize in Golden Visa programs in Spain but not just in Spain. We actually uh, do programs all around the world. Uh, but today I'm obviously going to concentrate on Spain, which is really the, the hot topic, uh, uh, if you like, at the moment. Um, very importantly, I put my contact details down there at the bottom. So I know people will have uh, questions themselves on their own situation or um, might want to fire them across. So you've got my WhatsApp number there at the bottom, which is 0044-7969-059122. It's a UK number. I'm actually based over here in Spain. So I actually work down the south of Spain in Malaga, where we've got an office down here. Um, but that's a UK number. You can WhatsApp me on there or you can ring me, whatever's easiest. Uh, you've also got my email there, which is sam.danes at holbornassets.com. So if you do have any individual questions, please feel free to ask. We can also book in um, reviews for your own situation. It's all completely free. Obviously, now with regards to the Spanish Golden Visa, time is of the essence now if people are looking to get it through. And this is what we go through. So I try to make it as clear as possible to help you understand, um, you know, what is happening. Things in Spain, if, you, if any of you do live here or have lived over here, can be um, what's the right word of saying? It can sometimes be a bit, bit difficult. Things can take longer, but we think we know now what the timing is going to be. And I'm going to go through that with you today. So what, what, importantly, what I want to try to do is get the question out of the way to start with in terms of do we still have time? Um, the answer to that for anyone watching is yes, we do. But we're very, very limited. And we know we have got time because we know exactly where we now stand in terms of the process. Um, but we don't have much. And I'll come on to that. So what I'll go through today is I'll tell you just a little bit about ourselves, who we are, just so you know exactly where I'm speaking to you from and, and our experience in the Golden Visa market. Um, the big question as well, what is the change, changes to the Spanish Golden Visa and is there still time? That is really what most people want to know. Uh, I'll go a little bit into what residency by investment is about the Spanish Golden Visa programme. The process and the benefits and the process really is the most important part of this because it's going to really come down to in terms of the process. And do we have enough time to get things through, which I'll come on to as well. Um, I'll go through some options that we still have available for anybody interested. Now, we've particular, I'll come on to this because I don't want to sort of muddy the waters at the beginning, but we have developed um, a particular program for people who want to get in with the golden visa, uh, but maybe need to liquidate in order to free up money to do that. So we've in introduced a real estate option, which actually starts with just a 50,000 deposit with the remainder of the money not having to be paid for, you know, for another six months. So that can help people who maybe are looking to do this, but don't have the resources right at this very second. So we're trying to help those people out. Um, and then we we'll go into questions and answers if we've got time. If not, obviously, you've got my contact details, which I'll put up at the end. So just to talk a little bit about um, the Golden Visa program and what we know. So as you are I'm sure all aware is um, at the beginning of the year, it wasn't completely out of the blue. We kind of knew this was coming. But Pedro Sanchez, essentially the Spanish prime minister, came out and said we're going to eliminate the Golden Visa pro uh, programs. And this was mainly due to the perceived correlation to the, to the housing affordability issue. Now, this in itself is relatively disputable because 
if you look at the amount of um, property purchase that have had golden visas attached to them, it's something like 0.5%. Um, it's such a small number that, that by getting rid of, of property, for example, as a way of getting a golden visa, it's really going to have a nominal difference. However, it was a new government that came in. This new government obviously wanted to be seen to be doing something, which is understandable. And one of the, I suppose, the easy targets to this was the golden visa, the Spanish golden visa program. So essentially, they said they're going to get rid of it, but we didn't know what they were going to do. And this was right back towards the beginning of the year. We knew it was going to happen. We didn't know how it was going to happen, how quickly they could get it through the, the, the Congress, uh, how they were going to do it. What we do know now is that they are looking to eliminate or they will eliminate all routes for the golden visa. So it won't just be, which is what we initially thought might happen, is you might say, OK, well, you can still invest into funds or into banks in Spain, um, but you will eliminate property, which is essentially what Portugal did last year. So in Portugal, you can still get a golden visa, but you can't do it through property. We thought maybe Spain was going to do the same thing, but they haven't. They, it looks like they've gone full out to say that we don't want um, uh, any golden visas to be an option through any route whatsoever. So they're eliminating it all um so at the moment at the moment the last point on here is everything remains unchanged so nothing has changed it's the same at, at, until the point that this goes through which we know a little bit more about now so without going in too much into the nitty gritty of how the, the Congress and the Senate and everything works over here in Spain just to to, to make it as clear as I can essentially the the point that we're in now is that the Senate have blocked the proposal that was which was always going to be the case because of the way the Senate is, is made up. It's made up of other parties and these other parties were against the, the golden visa being taken away. They didn't want that to happen. So we always they always knew there was going to be objections. So the Senate have blocked the proposal. And what that means is it returns back to Congress. Um, the Congress now have to approve the law, but they need an absolute majority. Now, they're probably going to get the absolute majority. Even if they don't, they can still do it after two months anyway. So either way, it's going to happen now. OK, so we know we knew this was going to happen. It's going through this little bit of a block procedure, but it's going to go back and then it's going to go through. Um, but we know the timing now of how, of how this is made up. So in terms of what you've got to expect is that if you look at what the current composition is of Congress, it's, ex it's expecting that around mid-December, so we're talking really in the next week, um, that they're going to approve the organic law project. And that is essentially going to say that we're going to remove the golden visa pr uh, program. Now, any laws or modification to uh, the laws, so such as the golden visa, um, essentially, it's going to take around three, two to three months to go through after this date. So it's normally three months. So when we're following this expected timeline, and this is probably the worst case, but I'd say it's the most likely case, that you will look that the golden visa will not be available for new applicants from mid-March. So from mid-March 2025. Um, just to make it clear as well, and for anybody watching this, if you've already got the golden visa, it's already written in that you would keep that. So the same rules would apply. So if you're in on the golden visa program, you can renew it as normal as long as you you, you know you you qualify through through the means that you have to. So for example, you have a property, then that's fine. If you're already in, you're in. But if you're not, you're out. <laughs> that makes sense. Um, so essentially, you need to. Anybody's in a position to think, well, I want to invest in property now in order to get my golden visa, you have to kind of work back, how long does it take to buy a property uh, in Spain, which is normally around three months from starting the procedure to getting the deeds signed, normally around three months. You then have to apply to get your golden visa. That can normally take around a month, normally longer, but, but around a month if you've got the, the right backing in place. So that's really where you're looking in terms of the timings. Now, I'm going to jump out of what's the changes, and I'm going to jump back into it again in a second, because I just want to explain a little bit about what we do. Um, essentially, at Holborn Assets, we, we are a, primarily a wealth management company. So we were started back in 1998 as a wealth management company. So we do investments for our clients. We do uh, pensions. We do uh, investments, mortgages, insurances, all that sort of thing. Um, and we've got 
20 offices around the globe now. We look after about 25,000 clients. But around seven years ago, it became very apparent that a lot of our clients really wanted to um, get into the idea of having global mi- mobility, so passports, residency, by getting the very best investments. So this is what we've kind of looked at for for our clients, ways of getting golden visas by um, by investing into the, the best investments available. So around seven years ago, seven or eight years ago, we, as part of Holborn, we developed Holborn Pass. And Holborn Pass essentially just concentrates on the golden visa size, but looks at the very best investments in order to get you the golden visa. So it's kind of like the best of both worlds because we were in a very good position to do that. Um, so we started Holborn Pass. That's now been going for the seven years. We were the top provider of the Portuguese golden visa last year. We've had a 100% success uh, rate of getting golden visas through. So we've quite literally done thousands of applications with a 100% success rate. So we, we've, we know what we're doing. We do golden visa programs all the world around the world, which I'll come on to. But the main thing is what we do for our clients is to do the whole service. So we do it from start to finish. So what that looks like, without going through every point on this slide, but basically it's finding the investment opportunities, It's doing all the due diligence. It's appointing the lawyers. It's getting the deeds done. It's getting your fingerprints done in order to um, get your golden visa. It's helping you do that. It's opening you uh, a Spanish bank account. It's getting you a personal tax number. Uh, It's even filing the tax returns on your behalf once you have the asset. So we look to do a essentially a one stop shop for anybody that's that's interested in doing it. Now, where that puts us in a good position at the moment is we have a very good uh, administration team and back office team that uh, and a legal team all working behind us. So we know that we can get things through in the time that we have left. And we work very closely with the Spanish government to know that we um, what we need to do in the timescales that we've got. So we're, we're in a very good position uh, for this. Um, and ultimately, we can help you get citizenship at the end. So uh, when you have a golden visa, you can actually turn that into citizenship. So that's essentially becoming a passport holder after 10 years. Um, you can actually do it after two years with Spain, but that's going off at a tangent, depends on your nationality. Um, but we can do this whole process for you. So for anybody that's watching this that is still interested, and that's whether this is on YouTube or whether you're watching the webinar live, please make contact because we can tell you how we can help you do it. Um, and this is the important part, really, of the, 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 the golden visa timeline that you need to be aware of. Okay. And how that we're going to work around this timeline to get things done for our clients. But the way it would normally work is, let's say you wanted a golden visa and you were starting the process here in Spain. What we would do is we'd essentially get somebody to say, yes, we're interested in doing something. We do a power of attorney. Uh, We get your um, uh, tax number. Uh, We get you a um, bank account open. So you don't need to come over to Spain. We can do this all remotely from whatever country you're in because we get the power of attorney. Um, And it normally takes about three months of this process. So month three, where we've actually got the deed done for the property. And when it comes to the golden visa in Spain, you need the property in order to apply for the golden visa. I'll come on to the qualification amounts, but as you probably know, the amount in Spain is 500,000 for a property. Um, uh, yeah, finally, you can actually do it for 350,000 uh, by having rental income paid up front, but I'll come into that again in ways that we can do it. Um, but it normally takes three months to get to this point, okay? So you've then got the property in uh, month three. Then what we do for month four, if you see on the left-hand side here, is we then book an appointment appointment at the consulate. Um, that allows us then to submit your application. So that normally takes another month, really. Um, so if you can see this whole process here takes four months. If you look at where we are now, we're very close, very, very close to having the time to do this. In fact, we won't really have the time to do this, but we, we have in the way that we, we're looking to do it, if that makes sense. Um, but at this month four here, once you've got the golden visa, you get the stamp in your passport, which is then valid um, for for a year. It means you can work, you can live, you can study in Spain. And then we then proceed to get the other parts done, which is things such as your biometrics, where you have to do your fingerprints, where you have to do your, your, um, your photo, all that sort of thing. So we proceed to get that done as well. Um, and that's the later part. But what we need to do is get to this point here in order to get the golden visa process 
done and dusted because the golden visa will be issued by the Spanish government within 21 days of application. They've got to respond within 21 days. That's the way it works. And if they don't respond within 21 days, it's deemed that you've got it. So the process it takes the time is getting the property. Now, some of you might be watching this and have your own properties. What we do with our legal team at the moment, we're open, because of the amount of resources we've got, we're only dealing with people who are looking to do this process now and they want to use us for the whole lot. So that's including getting the property side of it through to getting the golden visa. That's how we're doing it at the moment. If you already have a property, then you can try to find a solicitor who can do this for you. But you've been very mindful of the timing this can take because you need to have the right contacts behind you to do this, to make sure you can get it through quickly. Now, what we do as a company, when it's ever come to, I spoke a little bit before about um, being a wealth management company and looking at the best investments that are, that are out there for our clients. Um, when it comes to Spain, we've always specialised more in commercial property than in residential property. Because quite frankly, it's quite simple. If, if you need a property that's worth 500000 and you're going to live in it, then you buy a property that's worth 500000 and you live in it and you've got the golden visa. That's the way it's always been. The problem with residential property is you actually end up paying around 40,000 more in transfer taxes when you come to buy a property. So unless you know where you're going to ultimately want to live when you come to Spain, then it's not the best way to do it. The best way to do it is to get something that's going to cost you less. So for example, a commercial property, have it run and managed for you. You don't get involved in it, but that gives you the golden visa. And at a later point, then you can buy a property and then you can live in that. But it gives you more time to survey where you want to live and not pay, pay those higher taxes. So that's what we've always um, we've always concentrated on. And I'll talk a little bit about what we do and what we can do for you if you're looking at the commercial side of things. But just going back to the timeline, and I'll come on to this next slide. So this, as you can see, this the whole process here is it's going to take somewhere in the region of four or five months. What we've done to help people who are still looking to get the golden visa, we've looked at something that actually initially will only uh, require a 50,000 deposit. And I'll come on to how this works. It's actually a hotel option that we do where you invest into a hotel in Spain as part of a, a hotel chain over here. Uh, it's a really good way of doing it because you only initially have to pay 50,000. With that deposit, that's essentially a deposit that you put down. It's a holding deposit, which means we can then put your name onto the deed of the property. We can then apply to get you the golden visa with the remaining balance then not being due for six months. So you don't have to or within six months, but it means you don't have to do that initially. Initially, we can just get the 50,000. That's enough to us to, for us to get the deed done in your name for the commercial uh, hotel property. And I'll come on to exactly how that works uh, a little bit later. But by allowing us to do that, that means that we get through that first part of the process incredibly quickly. So instead of doing all these other bits, as long as we can get the bank account open for you, the power of attorney done, we can get the deed done really, really quickly, which will then allow us to apply for your golden visa. Um, and the balance, as I say, would be due in six months. It does help people that might need to sell sell property or sell something in order to get the money. So it's just a way of helping people do that. But there are, are also potentially other options which I'll come on to. In terms of the different golden visa programs, I won't spend too long on this because it's not particularly relevant now. These are all the golden visa programs we do as a company. Um, uh, this was as of 2023. It's been the same in 2024. We do citizenship programs over here on the left, which are programs where you immediately get a passport, uh, but they tend to be outside of Europe. And then on the right hand side, we've got residency programs where you've got Malta, Portugal, Greece, USA, Spain and UAE. Now, the most popular two have always been Portugal and Spain. Portugal was always the most popular until last year when they actually got rid of property as being an option. So as I said at the beginning of this, um, this video, you can't invest into property in Portugal and get a golden visa anymore. However, you can put 500,000 or more into a qualifying investment fund that can then get you the golden visa. So that still remains available. We don't know how long for, but though for a pro property has gone, that's still available. So anybody, when the Spain Golden Visa does go, Portugal does remain an option because Portugal has a very good, a very unique part of it, which means that you don't have to really spend more than a week a year in Portugal for five years. And after five years, you can convert um, your Golden Visa 
into um, a passport in only five years, which is really quite brilliant um, because essentially you get an EU passport in year five. So as soon as you hit year five, so it's year six, but you you can get, you can apply for your um, Portuguese passport without really ever needing to spend a lot of time or become tax resident in Portugal. So it's a very good, uh, very good program. We don't know how long that's going to be available for. Spain, on the other hand, which we're speaking to today, is a very good pro- program for a number of other reasons. One thing particularly with Spain, which makes it popular for anybody watching, is if you have a background, a passport now, which is of an ex-Spanish colony. Um, so there's lots of, I'll come on to what the countries are in, a, in another slide, but you're talking places like Colombia, Brazil's in there as well, uh, Chile, uh, Ecuador. Um, and I'll, I'll go through the full list in, in a little bit. But when you can actually apply for your Spanish passport after two years. You have to be tax residents. So unlike the Portuguese ones, you, you don't, you have to spend more than half a year in Spain for those two years. But in as little as two years, you can then apply for your Spanish passport. So it's very good from that point of view. Other, otherwise, it's 10 years. So anybody else, it's a 10-year program. After year 10, you can apply for the passport. But why Spain's very good and why our, our program's been particularly um, popular is that the qualifying amount is 500,000. As you can see here, where I've got the cursor. Uh, into property. But what we do is because we look at commercial properties and hotel properties, um, the way that works is you can essentially have rental income paid up front that can form part of your investment. And I'll come on to the, how that looks. But it essentially means for, for as little as 350000 you can actually um, get the Spanish passport because you've had that rental income paid up front. So it's a very good idea. And as part of that as well, um, you can include um, your spouse, your children as well, even dependent parents if they're over the age of 65. Um, you can include them all onto one application. So it's really good if you want to bring your family over as well. The reason people like Spain, as you know, is it's ranked number one for quality of life. It's the second most visited country by international tourists. It's got the fourth biggest economy in the EU and 14th in the world as well, which is obviously massive. Fifth best country to live in, sixth best uh, retirement destination as well. And it's got the seventh best public health care system. So as I say, I've, I live over here in Spain. I've lived over here for around six years now. We use the healthcare system here a lot. It's very, very good. Um, the, the quality of life here is fantastic. It's very laid back. So it's a great country to live in. And I think the fact that the Portugal Golden Visa is, is being withdrawn, it really is a shame because it's become such a good way for people looking to live here and make a home here. As long as you've got a property worth over 500,000, you've got the right to live, to reside with none of the other worries for such a great, uh, great program. But obviously, it's, it's, so it's disappointing that it's going. The program itself actually started back in 2013. Uh, we've done over well over 10, it says 9,000 applications here, but it's been, it's been around, I think, 15,000 approved Golden Visa applications now. It's raised over three and a half billion in foreign direct investment. And the good thing about the Spanish Golden Visa is you don't have to spend any time in Spain. So if, for example, you're thinking, well, I want to retire in five or six years, you can do that. You don't need to spend any time in Spain. So you can get your asset now. So if that's a commercial property, for example, like what, what we do, or you've got a house over here in Spain, you don't have to spend any time in Spain whatsoever, and you can still um, keep your golden visa. So it's really unusual from that perspective and really popular for that reason. As long as you've got no criminal record, you can include your spouse, children, your parents, everybody on one application, which obviously, you know, again, makes it very, very appealing. And the benefits of the Spanish Golden Visa is essentially you've got the right to live and work over here in Spain. So you can retire over here. You can freely travel from Spain to all the 26 Schengen countries, which makes it a lot easier. Um, and we've got an office here in Portugal, over in Portugal, sorry, which is about four hour drive from here. So it's lovely. You, you drive straight across the border. You don't need to do any visas. It's incredibly easy as well. Um, you can also establish a business in any of the Schengen countries as well. Um, there are some tax benefits for Spain as well. You've probably heard of the Beckham Law. Um, it depends on your uh, whether you're going to become tax resident or not and the nature of your business. But there can be tax concessions as well um, if you're an, an expat in Spain. And as I say, once you're here and you've got the Golden Visa, you've got access to world-class healthcare. 
um, which is ranked seventh globally by the um, World uh, Health Organization as well. And you're entitled to the Spanish pension. So for all intents and purposes, you get the rights as if you were a citizen, as if you were born in Spain. The only thing that's not included on there really is the right to, to vote. As I say, you can actually go for your, um, your Spanish passport, which is the next slide on here, after 10 years. Now, as you mentioned, I mentioned earlier in, in, the, um, in the webinar, in the presentation, that the normal route to get your passport in Spain is for you to wait 10 years. And for the last five years, you have to become tax resident. So you have to live over six months and then last five years in Spain. And then after the 10 years, you can uh, get your Spanish passport. However, if you are from an ex-Spanish colony, and I'll list them in a second, then actually it's only two years that you can do this. You have to become tax resident. You have to live here over six months. But in only two years, you can get your Spanish passport. Now, these countries are Argentina, Argentina, sorry, Bolivia, Brazil, Chile, Colombia, Costa Rica, Cuba, Dominican Republic, Ecuador, Equatorial Guinea, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, Mexico, Nicaragua, Panama, Peru, the Philippines, Uruguay, and Venezuela. Uh, in addition, you've got Andorra and Portugal, but if you've got an Andorra or pass Portugal passport, there wouldn't really be an awful lot of point in becoming a Spanish citizen, arguably. The requirements to do this would be you need to have to do a basic language level test. Um, you need to do a cultural exam as well. Um, and you have to live in Spain for two years if you're ex-Spanish -col ex colony or five years if you're not. And Spain is ranked, it says third on this presentation, but it's actually the second strongest passport in the world. So it's a really strong passport. So again, by getting the golden visa, you've got the way of getting a EU Spanish passport, one of the strongest passports in the world. And that will ultimately allow you to travel to 190 countries visa free. And you could set up a business, you could live or work anywhere in the EU. So again, very, very uh, good program. Um, so the investment options, we'll, we'll step back now and look at what, what can you do at the moment, what is still available, and what we can we help you with if you are looking to do this. So the real estate option, you have to invest 500000 into real estate. If you already own real estate yourself now in Spain, that can count towards your 500000 which is the minimum amount you need. It has to have been bought after 2013. OK, so anything before that won't count. So it has to be after 2013. And as long as your total amount you hold is above 500,000, that will qualify you for the Spanish Golden Visa. But time is the problem, because if you're not the 500,000 mark, then have you then got time to go through the purchasing options that you need to do? The other options, which are also going to be going, would be to, um, to, to get equity in a business of 1 million euros, to invest a million euros into a bank deposit account or investment funds, or to invest two million into government bonds. And all these would be going. Again, it was a bit of a strange decision for these to go because, um, you know, the real estate route, obviously, there is a correlation to the, um, the housing market potentially in Spain, but the other options may be less so. Um, so what I do now is I'm going to talk just to go through what we do so how we can help you if you are looking to do this and i keep stressing time is of the essence if you are looking to do this we do I, we do the commercial side as i say before for people now looking to get something in spain if you're not already if you haven't already got a property here you don't want to rush and buy somewhere um that ultimately you're not going to live in because essentially the residential taxes um for buying a property uh, anywhere between eight and eleven and a half percent. That's your transfer of taxes. So that's up to forty thousand euros more than if you bought commercial property, which is typically it typically can be anywhere to zero point zero point five up to one or one and a half two percent. So it's a lot lot less. Um, also, in terms of the rental yields for um, commercial properties, they tend to be a lot higher. So you tend to yield around. Four to five percent, whilst residential is two to three percent. So unless you know where you're going to be living and you want where you want to live, then commercial does make sense. Now we did an option which we is still available, and I, I'm going to have to break this down into two different options we can do for people. 
The first is the 350,000 commercial option, which still remains available. We are just doing this on the basis that if someone wants this, then we can go and look at it for them. Whilst as before, we actually held a lot of properties on our books. We don't do that now because obviously we know it's going. But if someone wants to do this, we can do it. But essentially, the way this works is that you would invest 350,000, okay, not the 500,000, and you are immediately paid 150,000 up front. So your 350,000 plus the 150,000 gives you the 500,000 that you need. So that's your minimum, that's the investment you need, and you've been paid that income up front. That commercial property is normally in Barcelona or Madrid, and it's maintained and looked after for you. So all taxes are paid on your behalf, whether it's um, whether anybody's um, renting it or not, it's not relevant to you. The risk is not on you. That's all taken um, by um, by us, essentially. And that's why you only pay 3% per annum up front. So the 150000 you're getting is the equivalent of 3% per year for 10 years. That's your 150000 um, for for um, for the 10 years. 3% obviously is not as high as 4 or 5% on a normal commercial asset, but that's because the risk is being taken away from you and the risk is being taken for us, essentially. Whereas um, if it's untenanted, that doesn't matter to you. Um, whether if there's any uh, repairs that need doing, that's not, that's not your problem. Everything is taken care of. Taxes for the property, for the income, it's not on you again. So there's nothing. It's essentially a very good way of doing it. It's a, the idea of this is it's a 10-year program. So at the, end of, at the end of the year 10, there's exit options then. So at the end of the year 10, you can sell your commercial asset on the, we can do it for you, on the, the commercial market. Um, you've got a guaranteed buyback of 350000 included into that. So after 10 years, if, if property prices have crashed in the commercial market, which is unlikely because it would be Barcelona or Madrid, but let's say it had, um, there's a guaranteed buyback of 350000 So you know at the very minimum, you would get your 350000 back. That's written into the contract as well. Or you can keep hold of the property if you want um, and then just start to get the income coming in. So you wouldn't know you can have it managed by us or not. But you have three different exit routes. So that's been our most popular way of doing this. The only issue is now is we don't hold these commercial properties on our books. What we can do is we can do this for you, but it would be on a I say a first come, first serve basis. If you want us to do this, you need to get in contact ASAP and we can speak to um, one of the specialists in our commercial property market and they can find you something. Um, but that's a good way of doing it. We can also find you just traditional properties at 500,000, um, which is another way of doing it. And you can um, have a rental yield coming in of four to five percent. Um, it's another way of doing it. We can do that. Again, time is short for this because we need to find a property. We need to go through this whole process. But we can still potentially do that. Um, residential, we're not doing at the moment because quite simply, we just won't have the time. The residential properties will take longer to do. So we have to focus on the commercial side of it. For anybody watching this, if you're watching it after I'm doing this in December, if you're watching it in January, we still have time. But we're sort of thinking the cutoff for this is going to be around the end of January, very, very, very latest. But in January, we could still do this. We feel that we would have enough time to get this through. The other option we've got is the Hotel San Blas option. So the idea of the Hotel San Blas is um, it's, the, the, it's a new hotel that's being built outside of Madrid, and it's part of Soho Boutique Business Hotels. They're a very big brand over here in Spain. They've got 48 hotels located all around Spain. Um, they're building a new one just outside Madrid in the business di um, district. And anybody looking to invest into the hotel, their security is against their whole 48 hotels. It's not just a hotel they're building. So it's very, very, very secure, anybody investing on it. And the idea of this is that they will pay your 3% yield for the 10 years up front. So basically, you put in your 350000 There is taxes to pay on this. You need to speak to us first. We'll tell you what that would be. But 350000 essentially, and you're paid 150000 up front. That gives you the 500000 The VAT is all paid by the developer, not by you. And you have a guaranteed buyback in year 10 written into the contract. The hotel will buy the, um, the, uh, the, the hotel complex, the apartment within the hotel, off you for 500000 Guaranteed. So you know 
you have made that money up front. There's no risk of your property um, going up or down. And at the end of the 10 years, you've post qualified for the um, Spanish passport. So we can then apply for the Spanish passport on your behalf. So essentially, you're investing 350. You're guaranteed to get back your 500,000 and you qualify for the passport at that, that end of year 10. You also get seven days complimentary stay at the Soho Boutique Hotels uh, per renewal period, which is a small benefit. Probably not a reason to do it, but it's it's a benefit it, that it provides. And the good thing about this option, and this is why this is going to, I think, vastly become our most popular, is you can secure it with only 50,000. So if you've got 50,000 now and you get in contact, we can talk you through exactly how it works. You're completely comfortable with it. If you're happy with it, and you pay 50000 then we can accept, essentially immediately, we, we have to do the power of attorney, we have to open a bank account, and we have to get you a tax number, but we can essentially immediately put you on the deed for one of the apartments and the property, which will then allow us to, um, to uh, apply for your golden visa. The balance is due within six months, so it's not something to do if you haven't got the money, but it's something to do if you feel like you need to do this now, and you've got this guaranteed return, you know that in year 10, you're going to get your 500,000 um, uh, back when you, when you qualify for the passport. So it's a, it's a really, really good, um, really good um, way of doing it. OK, um, so if, you, if this is something that's of interest to you, I keep saying this, but, but arrange an appointment. It's all completely free. We can do a consult, consultation talk to you exactly how it works, understand so you understand the tax side of it as well, all that sort of thing. But for all intents and purposes, there's no ongoing costs with either the commercial option I mentioned before or the hotel sand blast. That's all paid on your behalf. Um, and you've got them guarantees built into it as well. The other option I mentioned briefly before is a threat of a 350000 sale and leaseback option. So similar to the hotel option, you pay 350000 This could be for a property um, in Barcelona or Madrid. They tend to be catering retail or office um, uh, investments. You're immediately paid 3% up front, which gives you the 150000 So that combines to give you the 500000 you need. Uh, there are legal fees and other um, costs on top of that, which would obviously come into that. But that's you know, it's not. We're not talking lo loads and loads of money, but do factor that in. But that will give you five hundred thousand with this option at the end of year ten. Like the hotel, the hotel option, you've got the guaranteed five hundred thousand. With this, you've got an option of either the, taking a guarantee of three hundred fifty thousand at the end of the ten years, selling it on the open market. Which, if you think a commercial property in Barcelona or Madrid now, in ten years' time, is going to be worth. You would think certainly over five hundred thousand. So it's probably the route you'd probably take. But you have the option of selling it in year ten, uh, or you just keep it and you keep the income coming in. So um, and the reason all this is done around a ten year option, if you like, is because obviously that's when you can qualify for the Spanish passport, which is it's what what people are looking to do. Once you've got the Spanish passport, you no longer then need to have the apartment in the hotel block, or you no need need to have that commercial property. So that's why we look at that. So anybody watching, has anybody got any sort of questions around what I've gone through? Um, is anybody want me to go? OK, I've got a few questions coming in. OK, so there's questions here around the timings. So as I mentioned before, we have time to do this. Um, the options we're concentrating on are the 350,000 options uh, or the 500,000 options for the commercial route or for the hotel route. Both of these have the guarantees built into them so that you know that you're going to get, with the hotel option, you know you'll get the 500000 back with the 350000 investment. With the other option, you've got a number of different exit routes. We know that we can get these through in time because we can get the deeds done within the, t the, t the timing that we need. But as I say, particularly the hotel option is the one that we're looking at for a lot of people at the moment, because that's going to be the quickest because we can get the deeds done on there. If we have anybody apply right up until the end of January 2025 is what our legal team have said. I had a meeting with them yesterday. So they say up until the end of January, we should have time to do it. Because essentially, once we've got the, the deed done, which can be done incredibly quickly, we can actually, it only takes a month to then go and get the golden visa. Um, right, someone's mentioned if they've got a property here themselves, can we help with that? We were before, but if you've got properties yourself, it's not something we can get involved in. We, our team is now taken up with, with 
doing essentially the the, the, the one stop shop, if you like, so doing the whole process. If you've already got um, if you've already got properties in place, uh, by all means contact us because we do we do have some good lawyers over here in Spain, English speaking lawyers who may be able to help get the golden visa. But you really need to be aware. You have to have the infrastructure in place now because um, because you, the, the, the amount of time it would take in Spain to get things done, particularly now you've got the Christmas period. Um, there's lots of holidays over here in Spain. So you need to have the time to get all of this through. And that's why any lawyers or solicitors you use, uh, you use need to make sure you are completely um, confident in that they can do that. We will put a guarantee if we start the process in January, we will get it done for you. What I'd suggest for anyone looking at, there are quite a lot of questions, is that, as I said before, you've got my email. Let me just put it back up. Let me just share the thing. I'll put it back up just to make sure you've got it on there. So my email uh, is sam.danes at Holborn Assets. Let me just put it up here. So this should be coming through on your screen now. So at the bottom, you've got sam.danes at Holborn Assets.com. So if you've got any questions, email them across to me. If you want to have a free consultation, we can arrange that as well. It's, you know, we're not, we're not, trying to persuade people to do this but if it's something you're interested in doing it's not one of these things that's going to be available in a few months so for anybody watching this if you want to do it you've got to do it now it's not one of these things you can you can walk you know there are there are going to be other golden visa there are other golden visa programs namely portugal that we can help you with that that can give you the passport for the eu but this one for spain is particularly good and it will be going so anybody interested in spain needs to be looking at it now at the bottom is here as well you've got my my number there so i'm, I'm on whatsapp that's 0044796905922 so feel free to whatsapp me uh, or we can get back to you on that as well um so what I do, I'll leave it like that now. Um, there are a few questions coming in. I'll answer these questions here via email. Um, our time is running out now. I hope you found it useful. Um, but as I say, the, the main key to this message, if you're interested in doing it, you need to do it as soon as possible. We can certainly help. So come to us with any questions that you've got and hopefully we can, we can help you.